We're talking hip flexors and speed again. So we previously established that faster runners do tend to move the thighs faster in the air, okay? And this means that there is increased demand on the hip flexor muscles. But this still leaves us with questions regarding hip flexor training. Namely, is faster leg movement just a natural byproduct of getting faster via other means? Or can we manufacture higher speeds by intentionally creating faster leg movement? And also, do we need hip flexor strength in order to move the legs faster? Or is there just not very much strength required to do that? On this topic, let's look at some research. So there are actually several studies that have looked at muscle cross-sectional area and speed. They're all in pretty good agreement. They show a correlation between speed and the size of your psoas muscle. That's one of your uh, primary hip flexors. So this indicates that the increased demand on the hip flexor muscles in faster sprinting is enough to grow the muscles. And that's a pretty clear indicator that there is strength required here. This is not just a matter of coordination, but we still have a chicken or egg type of question here, right? Do people get faster and then their hip flexors grow and get stronger because of the increased demands of sprinting faster? Or can we do hip flexor exercises, make those muscles stronger and manufacture speed? On this topic, we have one study. This experiment produced significantly faster sprint times after eight weeks of hip flexor training. Now, the big limitation in this study is the subjects were active but untrained individuals. You can see the average 40 times were 5.6 in the men and 6.6 .6 in the women. They were not doing any sprint training, just one hip flexor strength exercise. So one can argue that an athlete that's sprinting all the time is going to get all the hip flexor development that they need from that. The other thing is this is one of those studies that just seems unrealistic. These people did one hip flexor exercise twice per week and on average improved almost a quarter second over just a 10 yard sprint. You know, that's just like what kind of sports training fantasy world is this? So with that in mind, I wouldn't quite call hip flexor strength training the silver bullet for speed just yet.